Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be back with you. Well, welcome to Monday. I tell you, as many of you know, Monday is Psychic Bob's Day Off. That's a day where I turn off the phone. I don't look at email. I just have a day to myself. And I've had a really great day. I I went out to lunch today. I treated myself out to lunch at this Chinese buffet. And then I went shopping at Hobby Lobby and went shopping at the dollar store and just had a day of relaxation. I didn't really buy much. Um, at the dollar store, I bought me a, a pack of Raymond ramen, what do you call ramen noodles? I love those noodles. Every now and then I like them. Anyway, so that's kind of all I bought. I didn't spend any money today, but I had a great time. Just getting out, you know, sometimes just window shopping's fun. Go out, look at everything, see what's going on. Anyways, I'm so glad to be here with you guys. Listen, if you weren't here yesterday, you missed it. We had an amazing show. We had our Sunday night hangout with Psyche Bob. It was a little different. Uh, I ended up not doing readings because we had a special guest. Uh, we had my Reiki teacher, Reiki Reverend, on. And a lot of you asked him such amazing questions about the subject of Reiki. And if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's in the queue right before this one. I recommend this show. I think you'll get a lot out of it. Reiki Reverend was a great guest, a really great resource of knowledge. And uh, you can visit him at his website at ReikiReverend.com. See yesterday's show, and it has all the details about what he does. Anyways, I got a lot of letters after last night's show saying how much people enjoyed it. The second letters that I were getting, the most of the letters I got was all about Reiki. Then I got a whole second set of letters. People said, say Bob, we love your long hair. Keep growing it long. So my hair is definitely getting longer. And all y'all want me to have long hair. So I'm here and you say Bob's letting it grow. You can see it's getting quite long. I can actually start to make a little bit of a ponytail. So, uh, yeah, my hair is going to stay long for a while. I think I like it. People are saying that they like the look on me. So, anyways, tell me in the comments box below, do you want Second Bob to keep his hair long or do you want me to get it short? I want to hear from you guys. Well, anyways, it's Monday. You know what we're going to do today? We're going to do a reading from the Brian Fold Fairies Oracle Cards deck. That's right. A lot of you say how much you love this deck. And how much it helps you. This is by Brian. Am I saying his name? Froud? Uh, F-R-O-U-D. Brian Froud. He is a mystic and a visionary. And does a lot of fairy art. He does paintings of the fae. Works on movies and designs things. He's really into the fae. And uh, this is his oracle card deck. And a lot of you have said how much you enjoy when we do that. So we're going to do that. But before we get into that. Um, also, a number of you have been writing and asking about my psychic development classes. So just to give you an update, we are going to have a psychic development class this Saturday. So this Saturday, which is the date? Saturday the 22nd, okay? Uh, we are going to have a class. This week we're going to talk about how to communicate with your spirit totems, your spirit animals, and deceased pets, your love, beloved pets in the spirit world, how to connect with them. So many of you have been asking for that. So we're having a class on how to open up that connection with the animals. So if you want to join my psychic class, go to my website, psychicbob.com. That link will be below this video. And there's a PayPal button over there. You'll see a header as you scroll down the front page. It'll say psychic development class. And underneath that will be a PayPal button. The price for this Saturday's class is $30. It's going to be about a two-hour class from 12 till 2 on Saturday. So I hope that you'll come out and join us. Uh, you know, where are you going to get professional level psychic development training for only $30 for two hours? We have a really great class. You, you'll love it because everybody interacts. We're all getting to know each other. And just come and bring an open heart. You know, bring your notepad and your pen. I'm kind of old-fashioned. I guess you could take notes on your tablet, however you do it. I'm old-fashioned. I handwrite stuff. And come out and join our class. We're going to do a lot of exercises to open those channels of connection and see, you know, how many uh, pets we connect with and what happens. So I hope you'll join us this Saturday. 
$30 only. Register. Uh, we're going to cut off registration on Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. So register now so you don't forget, okay? PsychicBob.com for psychic development. All right, well, let's jump into our fairy oracle cards. So many of you love this. If you're new here, by the way, welcome. <clears throat> Every Monday, we're doing this right now while we're in summer season. I used to do horoscopes on Monday, but I've been taking a little break because Psychic Bob's been working so much. I need to balance my energy. So on Monday, my day off, I'm really slowing it down. I'm not doing horoscopes because it takes me a lot of work to put that together, which I love to do, but I'm just having a little break. So we're going to do fairy oracles because, you know, it's a great way to start off your week and to get a little psychic help. You know, a lot of you have been saying, Psychic Bob, I can't buy a reading, a private reading with you right now. Can I still get some psychic help? And you know, I try to give as much free help as I can. So, you know, on Mondays we do an oracle reading, and that's a message for all of you. So let's uh, let's do a little invocation to the Fay, okay? So let's say, Blessed Fay, Mystic Ones, we welcome you, we invoke you. We ask you to give us a message. May this oracle reading be for all who see this video. And may we get the knowledge we need for the coming week to guide us through it. So mote it be. So mote it be. So we're just going to shuffle a little bit more. You know, I like to just set the intent and then I shuffle the cards. And, you know, we'll see, you know, what the Fae have. When you shuffle, if you do Oracle cards, you know, you just kind of do them until you just know. You just have a sense like, I'm supposed to stop here. And you just shuffle to you know. Okay, I'm feeling like I need to stop. Okay, so we're going to stop here. Now, I like to take the top card. So let's pull our card. <gasps> See what we get. Ooh, this is one I've not seen. Hold on, I can't read it. i got to put on my glasses here. All right. Oh, this is interesting. This one is called Indy. I-N-D-I. It's card number 63. Look at that. Isn't that cute? What an interesting little fae. You know, the fairies take all sort of forms. And if you get the Brian Fold deck, you'll see the Brian Froud Fairies Oracle deck. You'll see how fascinating his image of the fae is. Uh, so, all right. So this is card number 63. So let's see what it says about Indy here. Okay. All right. Card number 63. Okay, this is a little bit of our challenging card. All right, so Indy says this card represents indecision, wishy-washy commitment, and decision-making, okay? And <clears throat> let me come a little closer here you know, so you can see the card. So I'm going to read what our book says here. Uh, if you don't get him on the wish, you might catch him on the wash. But probably not. Because by the time you think you've got a commitment from him, he swung the other way again. Poor Indy. He can't decide between the this and that, or is it that, or this. If he... If he just had more information, if he just had some kind of guarantee about the outcome, if only he could be certain about things. Well, he can't. That isn't how life is. Indy sits on our shoulder as we wobble around trying to make a decision. And just as we think we've about got it, he mutters, but... What if? <laughs> and very likely, we dissolve into confusion again. Okay. little challenging here today, okay? Decisions make him nervous because they involve commitment. And Indy seems to be frightened of that. What if he makes the wrong decision and it ruins him or someone else's life? What if he makes no decision? dithering forever, and that causes ruin. 
I feel for Indy, and not only because I'm a Libra, that's the author's a Libra, uh, for he is the only one of the fairy challengers who doesn't know what we should be doing. That is, he knows we should be making our decisions clearly, and clearly at the appropriate time. And he has some ideas about how we might more easily go about that. But he's not himself a good decision maker. Sometimes he whispers almost tearfully in my ear. You're going to drive me mad, you know, if you don't just make up your mind. There are many reasons why we hesitate when decision and action are appropriate. However, most of, the, most of them boil down to fear, fear of making a mistake, fear of harming others, fear of losing something of value to us, fear of harming ourselves, fear of responsibility, fear that we are simply not able to make a proper decision. We need to look honestly at our insecurities, recognizing them for what they are, our insecurities, not reality. Huh. Then we need to resolve what we can and set the rest in balance against what will surely happen if we continue to hesitate. Premature decisions and actions often create problems, but lack of decision is a decision also, and one that creates its own set of misfortunes. India is also known as the Libra's bane, but an undecisive Libra truly is Indy's bane. He would be so relieved if we would just make our decisions and our commitments and stick to them. Then he might learn to do this for himself and be in a better position to help others. <clears throat> Caught up in Indy's energy, one Oracle group member who is usually a great decision maker herself responded to the above paragraph. You lost me here. How would our learning to make decisions help Indy to make decisions? Would it really? Then what would he do? How would he be better to help other beings having problems with this? Or would the other beings that are having problems cause Indy not to learn? and to make his own decisions. He could be different. Oh, no, excuse me. They can learn, hold on a second. Or are there no people that Indy knows that he can learn from now so that he could be different? Or are we talking about global change here? Uh, what I was trying to say was that sometimes it is possible. Oops, guys, in true Psyche Bob fashion, I'm a klutz and I let the book fall and I hit the keyboard and turned off the camera. So let's continue. We're on card 63. So this goes on. It rambles a little bit. So I'm going to get right to the point here. So what it says here, it says that this card means... It's decision time. Time to make up your mind and make a decision, then stick to your commitments. Set yourself a def definite time period com to complete your decision, right down to the day and the hour. Give yourself time to put the decision into practice before it is too late. Once that uh, arbitrary but carefully judged decision time is set. Ask for guidance for, for your highest good. Then weigh, consider, ponder, and gather information. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. Because so this card means that all of us need to just make some decisions and stick to it. And this fairy 
Indy will actually help us along the way. Right now he's indecisive, but his indecision comes from our own indecision. So if you're like at a place right now and you say, well, I don't know if I should leave my job. I don't know if I should do a move. If you've come to those sort of questions, the answer may very well be that you're ready for change. So rather than fearing change, I think sometimes when we get in those places, you know, we get frozen. We got to say, you know what? I'm going to do the change because I know that my life will be better. Deep within, we really know when we come to those major crossroads that something has to give. But I think it's like this book says, Brian Froud says, and Indy says, we're afraid. We're afraid of making those decisions. Maybe we'll make the wrong move. But, you know, I really believe that when we connect our higher selves, we don't make the wrong move. So let's call on the fae today. Let them guide us. And like this Oracle book says, this card tells us that we need to just get on with it and leave it up to the higher powers. So if you're at a crossroads today, you know, because I get so many letters, people say, Psyche Bob, should I move out of my house? Should I leave my marriage? Should I go ahead and start that business? I think all of us are at those points where we have to just say yes and let's move forward. Because really, if you think about it, we wouldn't be asking those questions unless we were forced to a position where we needed to make a choice. And I think like the book says, the worst thing is just to sit and make no decision. You make no decision Things can go awry. So take control back. Let this spirit Indy, the Fay, become decisive with you. See, he's indecisive because you're indecisive. So say, okay, Indy, we're going to make a choice. We're going to stick to it. And you come along on the journey. You know, when we invite the Fay into our situations, it's amazing how much things can improve. You see? Anyways, well, guys, I'm going to leave that with you today. That's our Oracle card reading. I have so enjoyed being here with you guys. Listen, tell me in the box below. Got a few things to answer. Um, are you at a crossroads? Are you going to make a decision? Are you going to let the Fae help you? Tell me in the box below. And what do you think about Psyche Bob's hair? <laughs> oh, also, I got to tell you. Uh, I have, you know, I'm on my bonsai kick. I'm into bonsais. Everything's bonsai in my house. Second of all, I've got a new bonsai shirt this week. All right, you ready for it? Okay. Here's my newest bonsai shirt for my collection. Check this out. How you like this, guys? It's the big Japanese sun with the mystic bonsai tree growing. Isn't that great? Let me take my pendant off so you can see it. How do you like that? Isn't that fun? Oh, and speaking of jewelry, you know, you guys always love to see my jewelry. I also got this really cool little Buddha pendant. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see. He's all sparkly. He's got sparkling crystals or seas. I think they're cubics or care. They're not real diamonds, but they look like diamonds. See, the Buddha has a halo. He's sitting in meditation. I just love Buddha. I've always loved the Buddha. So as I saw this, I thought, oh, that's really cool. I think it works nicely with my shirt. So say goodbye, I've got on this little new charm, because you know me, I'm a jewelry addict. And my bonsai shirt, I say goodbye, I'll be having it. It's Monday, it's my day off. Well, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to go relax, have some dinner, and then Netflix and chill. By the way, for those of you who are fans of the movie The Karate Kid, we talked about that the other day last week. On Netflix now, they're having, uh, at the end of this month, they're starting the Cobra Kai series. Cobra Kai is the continuing story uh, that left off from the Karate Kid movies. All the actors, are, you know, Daniel LaRusso, his character, and, you know, what's the guy he fought in the movie? They're all older now, and uh, it's about their lives and what happened after the Karate Kid. So that's something to look forward to. If you, if you have Netflix, go over there. And check it out. I'm not being endorsed by Netflix, but I'm really excited because I wanted to see that series. It's on YouTube right now, but you got to pay for it. And I thought, I don't want to pay all that money. So 
I, I just found out that Netflix is taking it over from YouTube. So it's going to be a big audience. So anyways, I'm going to watch, uh, you know, stuff about that tonight. Just relax and enjoy my day off because tomorrow and the rest of the week, whoo, Second Bob is booked for readings. Ah, I love it, but boy, I don't know where everybody's coming from. Anyways, if you want to get on my schedule for reading, we'll find a way to squeeze you in. Give me a call, 703-825-3929. Private reading, what that is, that's a full hour, you and me, one-on-one. -on -one, and we'll cover your whole soul journey. We're going to look at your past, your present, your future, your spirit guides, all of that. So if you want to be part of that, you know, and get some insight, you might want to sit down and, and have a private hour with me. I'd love to, to read for you. Also, if you want to help support my channel, go over to my uh, merchandise store. You'll see it right below this video. And uh, check out my t-shirt collection. I have a lot of my art and t-shirts. And I know a lot of you have been writing, so say goodbye, are you going to do more art? Yeah, we'll be doing more art soon. I've just been really busy. Uh, but we'll have more art. But I have a lot of art already available in t-shirt form, so check that out. Well, guys, you rock. I love you. Mm, thank you for being here. And let's meditate on Indy today and make some decisions. And if you want some help with decision making, you still are a little unclear, call me and get on my schedule for a private session. My phone number is 703-825-3929. I look forward to hearing from you. You can also write to me at my email, psychicbobhickman at gmail.com. That link will be below. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Be here tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern U.S. time. We're going to have messages from the Spirit World live stream. Be here. Bring your psychic questions. I'm going to be doing live mini psychic readings for all of you. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Until then, may all of you always blessed be.